Hey guys, Antonalog here, and when you're building a new PC, one of the most frequently asked questions I get is how much RAM should I buy? So today we'll be taking a look at how much RAM affects rendering time in Adobe Premiere. So the two RAM kits I'll be using to test this is the Crucial Ballistic Sport DDR4 and the Kingston HyperX Predator DDR4. Both are really good, reliable RAM sets that are fast, and they also look great in your computer. So to test this, I'll be using Adobe Premiere, and I'll use a 1 minute 4K sequence shot at 100 megabits per second with my Panasonic G7. Now it's been stabilized, color graded, and a lot of other different effects added to it, sharpened, so it'll be a good test on the computer and its performance. I'll be rendering it at a constant bitrate of 25 megabits per second with my overclocked 6th core 5820K. So I have a Kingston in a 4x8 gigabyte configuration and I also have the Crucial in a 4x16 gigabyte configuration so that I can test from 8 all the way up to 64 gigs of RAM. So for 64 gigabytes of the Crucial kit, I got a render time of 3 minutes and 23 seconds. For 32 gigabytes, it was 3 minutes and 37 seconds. And for 16 gigabytes, it was 3 minutes and 54 seconds. Moving to the Kingston, 32 gigabytes of RAM yielded a 3 minute and 28 render time, 16 gigabytes of RAM yielded a 3 minute and 31 second render time, and finally 8 gigabytes of RAM yielded a 3 minute and 49 second render time. So what I found is that the Kingston is actually faster than the Crucial by a significant amount. And I think it has something to do with the cast latency and speed, as the Kingston is 2800MHz versus 2400MHz on the Crucial, and it also has a cast latency of 14 instead of 16 on the Crucial. Now keep in mind this does come at a higher cost, but it really is up to you if you want to spend it more for performance or less to save some money. In conclusion, if you're just doing gaming and web browsing, I'd use 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM, but if you're using video editing software like Adobe Premiere and After Effects, you will want to go 32 and up. However, it is also important that you pay attention to other stuff, not just the capacity of the RAM, for example, cast latency, timings, voltage, and obviously speed. That is all really important stuff that you should pay attention to before you buy. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and also comment down below how much RAM you have in your computer. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.